Hey, welcome to Dave Royals fans. This is a video on the trade between Cam Strong going down to South Carolina and Logan um, Flodell coming up the Acadia University standout from up there in Canada playing at the Great Acadia University. Um, Logan Flodell comes for Cam Strong. I really like Cam Strong, what he was able to do as a rookie, but I've also liked from afar um, how Logan uh, Flodell was able to do uh, in the ECHL this year, getting a, a win, his first win against the best team in the Eastern Conference right now, and just playing very well overall, just how I've been impressed with youngster Daniel Manella. Not as impressed with Flodell, but that's also because he hasn't got as much hockey. Manella's been the steady guy for Tulsa. Flodell's only been in six games. Uh, I, again, really enjoy Cam Strong's time. I love Cam Strong. I thought he was a great rookie player, but you got to trade good to get somebody else good, especially in net, the most important position to count help your success going forward, and I think this was a really good move for the Royals. Kirk McDonald assessed that without Karu Ustamenko down, the Royals are a little bit weaker in that Hayden Levine did not look that great in his game. Hayden Hawkey's shown some um, slip-ups of late, but I think he's been solid overall. So it's very good to bring in a guy like Logan Flodell, who started very good in his rookie season in the ECHL, um, was very good in his uh, junior career in the WHL, and then was a, a standout for two years at Acadia University. This is a smart trade, a very good transaction, because you can never have enough good goaltending. I still believe that Hayden Levine is a solid goaltender. It's just he's had a rough go of it this year. He played for a team in Allen that wasn't great defensively, and it seems like he can't find his full mojo back yet uh, after kind of, I guess, getting into a funk because of maybe playing for a not-fantastic defensive team. Logan Fladell came from the South Carolina Stingrays, where he played fairly well. Now I think it's his job to come in here. He's already getting the start tonight against Wheeling, so obviously they have great confidence in him. And I think he's going to be a guy that's really able to help stabilize the net, even if we keep Hayden Levine with Levine, with Hawkey, and um, obviously himself, because Kirk McDonald said this early in the season when we had uh, different goaltenders at this time, but it was when Hawkey first came in. He said at this level you need – all starting caliber goaltenders because of how um, <clears throat> up and down guys go, obviously, not play style, but just moving up and down between leagues and all that. Um, you're going to need goaltenders that can start at each position, whether it's your third stringer to your first stringer, and Levine is able to do that when he has his stuff going in the right way. He's just been struggle bunny this year. Uh, Fladell's been able to do that at every level he's played at, and then we've seen Hawkey already do it this year. He's just had some struggle with times uh, recently, so I think this is a very good move, a wise move, apologize for not doing a video on it earlier, I didn't even realize I've been doing a bunch of videos on uh, different stuff around the world of hockey that I covered, but uh, this is a great move made by Kirk McDonald to bring in a very good young goaltender, you can never have a great, enough great young goaltending, peace out everybody, stay safe and enjoy the game tonight, as right now it's 0-0 between the Reading Royals and the Wheeling Nailers, peace out everybody.